Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting lesson. In our last video, we went over periodic FIFO and how we could use periodic FIFO to determine the cost of goods sold and the ending inventory. So let's take another look at this and just really quickly go over the basics again. We have a series of beginning inventory and purchases during the years. So we purchased 60 units and we paid $5 each for them, 100 units paid $6 each, so on and so forth, and a count at the end of the year revealed that 50 of these units are still on hand at the end of the year, which means that all of the others had been sold. Now, LIFO stands for last in, first out. So the last ones that we purchased, the ones at the bottom layer, remember this is in chronological order, the last ones in are the first ones out, sold. So if those that were sold are at the bottom, where are our 50 units in ending inventory going to be? Well, we have sold, 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 so our ending inventory is going to be at the top. And we'll find that and work our way down until we account for all 50 units. So let's start accounting for this. We have 50 units that are still on hand at the end of the period. So when we start to account for this, we see that there's already 60 units in this top layer. So let's take those 50 units that we need and let's put those down here at our, in our ending inventory units at five dollars each. So now if 50 of these units are in ending inventory, how many of these are sold? So well there's only 10 left, so 10 of those of that first layer, those will be sold. And now keep in mind we already accounted for all 50 of our units that are in ending inventory, so all other layers are also sold. So let's go ahead and place those and our cost of goods sold. Okay, so we have the information we need to find our cost of goods sold and our cost of ending inventory. So all we have to do uh, in order to finish this up is some math. So let's multiply each layer to find the total cost of each layer and then add them up to find the total cost of goods sold. So our total cost of goods sold is 1,320. Our total cost of ending inventory, this one is simple, we only have the one layer, is 250. Now just to kind of reiterate that point that we made in our last video for periodic FIFO, um, these two amounts really coincide and get tied back to uh, our original information. So I'm going to find our total cost over here just like how I did for our cost of goods sold. So our total cost of goods that are available for sale, multiply them up and add them up is 1,570. Now if we wanted to kind of test ourselves or kind of check our work a little bit, it's not a guarantee, but it's a pretty good indication to make sure you didn't make a silly little error, is let's go ahead and add up our cost of goods sold and let's add that to our ending inventory. And we see we have 1,570, so that checks out pretty well. Now let's take a look at one other check that you could do. And that has to do with your units up there. Okay, so if we add up all of our units in our original problem, we see that there's 240 units. So let's add up all of our units that were sold. 190 and then let's add that to the 50 units that were in ending inventory. Keep in mind I'm just using this for math right down here. Okay, there we go. And we'll see that it adds up to the 240 units. So really, the main thing to take from this is that this 1,570, the whole purpose of what we're doing is to find out how much of this is sold and how much of this is in ending inventory. And the same thing with the 240 units. We're figuring out which of those are sold and which of those are in ending inventory. So it all should add up in the end. Now we have one more periodic method to go over, which is is uh, the average cost method. So we are going to do that one in the next video. So please be sure to take every opportunity you have to keep practicing the periodic FIFO and LIFO methods. And once you really get a good grasp on periodic FIFO and LIFO, then you'll be able to move on to perpetual FIFO and LIFO. So, but before we move on to that, <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a look at average cost. In the meantime, happy studying.